Someone, someone in the comments said that plant, plant protein cannot replace animal protein. Is that true? Let me set the record straight. Uh, yeah, I mean, animal protein is usually called complete, complete protein because it has all nine amino essential amino acids. Yeah, but guess what? Your body doesn't care if the, the amino acids come from a beef steak or lentils or chickpeas because everything gets broken down. Protein gets broken down to its smallest constituent, which is amino acids. You cannot, you cannot directly absorb protein, period. Okay, so let's look at it biologically. Now, plants may be lower in one or two aminos, right? But then you need to balance them out. That's why people eat beans with rice. And you got nuts, you got seeds, you got greens, you got avocados, you got legumes. Your body gets the full scope, the full profile of amino acids that it needs in that manner. And it prefers it in a more gentler fashion. Easy, anyway, it's easier to digest um, amino acids directly than protein into amino acids. There was a study done, matter of fact, um, Academy of Nutrition, something, something. <laughs> but anyway, that's, a, that's one of the large dietitian organizations. And they confirmed, right, that plant-based diets typically provide all essential amino acids when they are varied and balanced. It's just the balance is the key, right? You got to know how to balance your food. You can't just try to live off of tofu and call it a day. No. So let's be clear. Plant protein, you know, can build muscle, boost your testosterone, support your prostate health. And you don't, there's no, there's no steak required, right? You could eat some meat if you like the taste of it. I mean, you know, you could justify that however you like, but you don't have to have it. 